Hello Crusaders, I'm Elijah Clegg. And I'm Trace Turner. Welcome to the Red and Gold Show. The Our Lady Lords Fall Festival continues through tomorrow, Crusaders. Remember, Cecina's Rock Band will perform tomorrow from 2.30 to 4 p.m. at the festival. So come out and see all your friends in the rock band. Enjoy the festival and support one of our local parishes. Now let's go to Marley with a look at today's clubs. Thanks, Elijah. The Key Club will participate in the Buddy Walk tomorrow. Club members need to be at Military Park by 6.45 a.m. If you have any questions, talk to Key Club Officer Mr. Schroeder or Ms. Walsh. The next Key Club meeting will be held Tuesday after school in room 215. Members will need to make plans for Mary Shower. Now back to Elijah for more news. Do you like flowers and want to help make the east side look a little better? You can join the Urban Garden Club and plant 2,000 daffodils along the Pleasant Run Parkway. They plan to do this on October 12th, starting at 9 at 30 a.m. All you have to do is show up and bring a shovel. In case of rain, the club has chosen the 19th as a backup date. Contact Rosemary Tudor at the email address below with any questions. If you're a hooper, this may be for you. IMPD is hosting its second annual Hoops for Peace 3-on-3 basketball tournament. The event will be held October 26th from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. at Windsor Village Park. Team entry is free and 16 teams will be allowed to play. Each team may include boys and girls aged 14 to 18. No more than four players are allowed per team. Prizes will be given for first, second, and third place teams. The registration deadline is October 12th, so sign up for your team soon. For more information, contact Simone Willis at the email below. Now let's go to Julian with a look at today's sports. Thanks, Chase. Last night, the girls' soccer team lost a close one to Beach Grove 3-2, but the volleyball team swept Monrovia three games to zero for a big conference and senior night win. The team earned a share of the conference championship with the win. Congrats, ladies. Tonight, the football team will play at conference rival Triton Central at 7 p.m. Both teams are 4-2. Your Crusaders are ranked 8th in Class 2A, while Triton Central is ranked 14. With that in mind, Manny Avila and Andrew Powell gave us a look at the football team and their outlook for this game. Today we take a look at two varsity players of the Sassima football team. Number 50, Patrick Denny, center for the team, and Luke Leffler, number 33, middle linebacker and running back. Let's hear how they feel the team is doing so far this year. What's up, name's Patrick Denny, number 50, 5-0. Um, I play right guard, right next to my, my brother Miles Days and my, my brother D'Angelo for tonight. Um, you know, I feel like the whole, the whole squad has just really come together as a group. You know, I got my brothers in there. They got my back, I got theirs. We're the boys of fall, you know? Nagging heads and talking trash, slinging mud and dirt and grass. That's all we do. All right, I'm out. Uh, what's up, name's Luke. Uh, I play linebacker and running back. I'm number 33 on the field, number one in people's hearts. Uh, basically, I think our team's improved a lot from this last year just because we've been working hard, playing together as a team. We're just a lot closer as a brotherhood. Coach Parika says the team is ready to rebound from the past two losses and come out strong against Tryon Central tonight. I think we're going to play, come out ready to play. I think the, um, the players are uh, tired of uh, losing. We lost two games in a row, and that's uh, uncommon around here at Cecina. We've had a really good week of practice, and, and I think the guys are going to come out ready to play and, and kind of right the ship and get and get back to our winning ways. David Baker missed the Lutheran game with concussion, but we'll be back tonight for Triton Central. David will be back uh, tonight on the field, um, and I'm thrilled about that. We're all thrilled about that. He went through the whole uh, concussion um, protocol, all of the um, tests and things that were involved in that. Uh, to make sure that he's healthy enough to play for one, and uh, he is health, healthy enough to play, so uh, we're thrilled to have uh, we're thrilled to have him back, and, and uh, we're going to give uh, hopefully give Triton all they can handle. You know, we've lost two in a row. It's nothing. It's nothing too crazy. Nothing too. Nothing too big that we can't overcome. So we'll be ready. We'll be ready. Hello, I'm David Baker, and I play receiver. I'm number four. All I gotta say is go Hoosiers, LEO, and go Crusaders. Come check out the football team tonight at Triton Central at 7 p.m. Thanks, guys, and good luck to the football team tonight. Tomorrow, the cross country team will compete in the city meet at Grand Park at 9 a.m. The girls' soccer team will host Washington at 10 a.m. Good luck to the girls' soccer and cross country teams 
In other sports news, don't forget about the lacrosse triad meeting. This event will be held at 4 p.m. on the football field. You'll be able to try out the equipment and see how lacrosse is a fun sport. Now back to Chase for more of the news. Remember to vote for Marquise Edwards in the Prom Fashion Model Contest sponsored by Louis Tuck Shop. Each person may vote once per day per device. Today we're starting a new weather segment, so let's cut over to Daisy to hear about the recent cool down. That's right Chase, fall has finally arrived after a late heat wave. It's a beautiful day with a high of only 69 degrees and mostly sunny skies. It will be a great night for football with clear skies and a low of 50 degrees. It will stay partly sunny and reach the mid-70s tomorrow, but there's a chance for spotty showers on Sunday. Enjoy your weekend, Crusaders. Now back to the news. That's it for today's news. Stay classy and give that little extra.